What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Ball. Boo, 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 boo. What's up? All right, today, episode 422 is going to be my surprise bench idea, my surprise bench back idea, my surprise bench support exercise you've never seen before idea I just came up with fucking yesterday. All right, so we programmed a close grip bench press after, follow me, a little bit of bicep work, pump up the biceps, foot, yes, pump up the biceps, which then puts a little bit of pressure whenever you're close gripping. So you pump up your upper back, you pump up your biceps, there's your support. You wind yourself into the bench, right? So when you're doing a close grip bench, or really any bench, you're internally, I believe it's internal rotation, right here, so you can basically wedge yourself in with your lats. Now think about this, my upper back is blown up, I've got a closer grip, instead of going this, I'm here, so I'm wedged in, rotated, my biceps got blood in them, so when I arch up, right here, I'm like a fucking really strong fucking like spring, basically. So, load the bar, boom, right? So that's how a lot of us, I'm hoping, are gonna start the bench, because I think it's like a long game, because you're not all hung out to dry. But here's an exercise I was thinking about. You know, I got one less rotator cuff on this side, so I was like, I watched, uh, actually Kyle might even give you these videos you can put in here. I watched my 225. It's lightning fucking fast. And I watched my 275. That was it, that was it. And I'm trying to do the same thing, but it's got a little glitch in the bottom got a little glitch in the bottom because I got one less piece of tissue on the shoulder so off the bottom it doesn't start as fast because this is not as strong as this one so I thought to myself what happens if I mimic the same exact exercise backwards now what do I mean by that so if I'm getting ready to bench press rotated like this here right and this shoulder is the one that's lagging behind because of the stability what happens if I take a little lighter, a single arm pulley, but have it literally be the same hand placement? So think about this. When I'm over there, I'm arched up, boom. I'm winding it in, pressing it through. So I'm gonna do the antagonist exact thing, which would be right here to support, to make that a little bit stronger. Now what's interesting about this motion is this actually is hitting my, my upper back around my scap and whatever I got fucked up in there, it seems like it activates it better. And this is exactly where I'm gonna start to press from for ultimate speed. So if I'm doing you know a couple sets on both arms but an extra two or three sets on this arm particularly, right in that pocket or where I'm gonna fucking press at, in theory, which I haven't proved it yet, but I'm gonna prove it. It's gonna make my bench nasty, right, Tyler? You following me? I haven't showed you this one yet. Yeah. That makes sense though, right? So if we're here, and this is the one that's slowing up my speed, then why not extra support it in that exact range so then when I go to load it up, boom! Knowledge Bomb 422. It's the new secret back bench exercise I just made up yesterday. 